Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to change your DHCP IP address allocation settings in VMware Workstation. So the DHCP service in VMware, what that'll do is it will assign your virtual machines their IP addresses when they start up, and it has a default range, which I'll show you in a second that it uses, but this is what you could change. So first we're going to go into this uh, Windows 10 VM here and see what its IP address is by going to a command prompt. And type in IP config, and we can see here that it is 192.168.150.128. So now in the uh, VMware Workstation console here, if we go to the Edit menu and then the Virtual Network Editor, and you go to the NAT settings here, you'll see that the uh, DHCP button, you click on that, and the range that it's using is 150.128 to 254, so this is using the first one in that range. I don't have any other VMs running right now, so it probably took that first address. So what you could do is you go to Change Settings, say yes to the UAC prompt, and then you want to go to your NAT connection again, click on DHCP Settings again. This time it won't be grayed out. And let's say we want to go 200 to 254, so click on OK, and we'll apply it. Oh, it's going to restart the uh, service there. Click OK. So now in the VM, we have to do an IP config and then release to release that IP address. Even if you reboot, it might still keep that old one just because, you know, it has a lease on it. So I always like to release it. OK, and that once that's done, we could do a renew. And now you can see it started with 200, so we changed it from the lowest number being 128 to the lowest number being 200. So now it took that new IP address, and so now it'll only use 200 through 254, uh, like it said in the settings. And you could use the, the, the prior addresses for something else if you like. So once again, just go to Edit, Virtual Network Editor. And if you find the, uh, the NAT connection there, you click on the DHCP settings. It'll tell you what it's set to. If you want to change it, just click on Change Settings. And then you could click on the NAT network again. Go back to there, and then you could type in the one you want, apply it, and then do the IP config um, release and the IP config renew, and then you should be good to go. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.